In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple ways to make your titles look better. So here I have this clip of this guy walking in the sunset and the clip's awesome. And I added this title and it's kind of legible, but also in a lot of parts of this clip, I just can't read it. So what are our options? We could take this and we could make all of this text a different color black, but even still, it just doesn't look that great. And personally, I'm not a fan of black titles. I like the white text. I just think it looks a little bit cleaner. And a lot on a lot of footage, white is going to stand out better anyways. Now, that's not the case necessarily for this footage. One way to make our text stand out is to blur the background. So if we take something like the Gaussian blur, and we apply it to our background clip. And then let's just blur it out just a little bit. And there you have it. Repeat our edge pixels. This is up in your effects controls. It looks a little bit better. And this is gonna help in with a lot of other types of shots as well. Let me just throw down another shot so you can see what this would look like. So over this shot here, if I extend this. So this one's not as bad, this shot, but if I take this Gaussian blur and I paste it to this, it helps a little bit. It just makes it look a little bit, stand out a little bit more. You can go crazy with the blur to make it look even better. Maybe you have the blur ramp on or ramp off or animate on or off with keyframes, which we could do here. We could set a keyframe 459 and then go back and set it to zero and maybe that's when you have your title card fade on as well. So maybe it's something like this. Blurs out and then our title fades on. That's one way. We could also decrease the opacity of this shot. So if you double click and open up your track one, you have this line up here which is your opacity. So if you just drop this down to like 75 even, it can make it look a little bit better. You could even animate that. You can animate that over here with opacity right here in effect controls, or you could take your pen tool, set a point, and then set another point and drag up or down. And that creates an actual opacity animation. So it makes it darker while we're blurring. So now we're combining a couple different things, okay? You can also add a drop shadow. So this is definitely more of a stylistic thing, but if you add a shadow to your text, it might make it look a little bit better. So let me actually take this title and we'll put it over our original footage. I think you're gonna be able to see the shadow a little bit better over this lighter background. So that all of our shadow settings are underneath appearance and the effects or the essential graphics panel over here. You can make it darker, lighter. You can make it bigger, farther away, spread out more, more blur until you're liking. So that's one way to make your title stand out too. Although that's definitely more of a stylistic thing. And if you don't like drop shadows, then that's, that's gonna be a problem. But hopefully these options of blurring the background, also decreasing the opacity of your background footage helps. Now be careful though, because if you have multiple clips layered on top of each other, something like this, you're gonna see the shot from the background underneath this title or underneath the original shot when you decrease the opacity. So this only works if there's nothing on the timeline underneath it or if it's on video track number one, and you're decreasing that opacity. Make sense? All right, that's how to make your title stand out a little bit more in Premiere Pro with some basic techniques. Cheers.